Hi BookTube, this is Greg from Coffee Slash Books. Just want to make a quick video and give you an update on what I'm currently reading and also share some personal news. Um, I'm really excited because I'm going home to America on Saturday for a full week. And for those who don't know, I work in another country. Um, and I only get to go home to the States maybe once or twice a year. Um, so I'm really excited to just go home and I have really nothing planned just to see my friends and family, um, hang out. Um, go to bookstores and things like that. So I'm really excited that it was able to happen. It was kind of short notice for my work. I was able to leave. Um, so I won't pretty much uh, be making any videos when I'm home. Maybe I'll try to vlog, but I'm still not there yet. Um, but if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll probably post some things that I'm reading along the way or any bookstores I go to or anything like that. I'll put the link down below. Um, other than that, I just want to talk about what I'm currently reading, which I think is a popular thing um, and I didn't know anything about it so I started googling it. So I'm currently reading A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara and maybe that's a Japanese name, I could be wrong. Um, it was one of those things where I was just in the bookstore and I feel like I needed something good to read and I was just picking up books and wasn't really feeling any of them and then on the end they had a just in like the English book section they had a small display. It's like always the same books. It's Harry Potter, um, Bridget Jones's Diary, like Sex and the City, something, and maybe like Devil Wears Prada. It's always like these like um, popular American books that foreigners like to read in English because it's like they think about the movie or the TV show or whatever. So those are like always the the books on display. Um, but then there was this one, so I picked it up and I was like, oh my god, it's seven hundred pages. Obviously, this is a long book, and it takes a commitment. So I just started reading like the first page, or I read the. the there's like an intro description, um, and I was already like, this is awesome, I want to read it. So I just grabbed it and started reading it. Um, and I'm already on page 210, and I've only, I think I read that over two or three nights. So it's definitely good, I want to keep reading, I just don't have enough time to finish it. Um, so far it's about four uh, guys who became friends in college, they were freshman roommates. Um, and it kind of goes so far through each of their journeys and how their relationships affect each other and things that happen in each lives. Um, I don't know where it's going, to be honest. Um, I think the one of the main characters, well, they're kind of all main characters. Jude had like a really troubled past. It's starting to unfold. Um, maybe he's going to do something that affects everyone. I think that's what it led on in the description. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. I could be totally wrong. Um... But it's so good that, the, I don't know who this person, this author is, to be honest. Um, I don't know if he, she has written anything else. The way that life is described, um, just the pure descriptions and also the intricate relationships between these people and just depicting uh, New York City and depicting college and just everyday things. It's just really, really bold. Like, I feel like I can see it. It's like I can almost feel it in front of me. Um, so it's definitely an amazing point of view for if you're interested in just um, how things are written, how descriptions are written. But anyway, so, so far I recommend it. Like I said, it's a commitment. Hopefully I'll finish it before I go to the States because actually when I fly, of course I'll read. But once I'm home, I won't be reading. It's like sunrise to sunset. Um, I'm only when I'm there to sleep and then I wake up early in the morning and then I go visit everyone because like I said, I only see them once or twice a year and then run errands, and maybe I'll probably be in New York, or I might have to go to Washington, D.C. for work one day. Um, so it'll be like all around the Northeast. So I'm excited. Um, but other than that, I'll let you know how this ends. I mean, my impressions of it, I won't tell you exactly what happens. Um, but I think when I posted this on Instagram, a bunch of people like sent it, uh, replied to me saying, like, oh, sure, read it. Apparently they've heard of it, and it, it's like a thing. Um, like I said, I'm pretty oblivious to a lot of things sometimes, so I did not know it was a thing. I just picked it because it was on display, and it wasn't too expensive, so that's how I make a lot of my choices. Anyway, so this is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. Um, if you read this, uh, please don't tell me what happens at the end, but I would love to hear your comments now and maybe later, um, or if you have any other recommendations by this author or anything maybe similar. In terms of storyline and how the writing style, I would definitely love that. Otherwise, this is a quick five-minute video. Thank you for watching. I'm 
and subscribing. I can't believe I, I think I have 22 subscribers, which is 22 more than I ever thought I would have. So thank you very much. Um, I definitely love BookTube, and I hope you are having a great day wherever you are. Thanks. Bye.